हेलो अलैकुम बिस्मिल्लाहिर रहीम आई एम स्टार्टिंग द सिक्स्थ लेक्चर व्हिच इज द लास्ट लेक्चर इन द रोड ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द रियर इंपैक्ट इंजरीज एंड इन दिस द इंजरीज व्हिच अकर टू स्पेशली द सर्वाइकल स्पाइन द विपलेश इंजरीज एंड देयर इज सडन hyperflexion and hyperplex uh, hyperextension of the cervical spine and force is striking from the rear and the, as the head is free to move initially there is sudden hyperextension and then hyperflexion this is jack knife so the level of injury is usually between cervical 4 to cervical 6 and the mechanism as i told you that it is due to successive acceleration followed by deceleration and there are repeated movements hyperflexion and hyperextension of the neck and it causes fracture dislocation of the vertebra and damage to the spinal cord they are also called uh, railway spine or jack knife injury or the whiplash injuries so this is very important whenever there is a victim of road traffic accident the neck should be cared for first a neck collar should be applied before transporting the person out of the vehicle or taking him or her to the hospital the medical legal significance of road traffic accidents we should discuss the detailed history of the incident and this include the whole examination the examination of the driver the con his condition of eyes as regard to any disease like opacity in the cornea or any lens or blindness and if he is suffering from any disease epilepsy diabetes or ischemic heart disease or he is under the use of drugs or alcohol so complete history should be gathered then the examination and investigation will be a team will be formed usually it includes forensic medical examiner the vehicle examiner and forensic science examiner so this team conducts the whole investigation and they are important for compensation because the person and vehicles are examined in every case and this compensation in our country in pakistan to the injured is according to kisas and the law now the investigation will include the examination of the victim number and type of the injuries any peculiar character like tire marks or the dirt marks the height of the injury from the heel that is particular importance in the bumper fracture if it is pedestrian and then this factor is important any foreign material on the skin or on the wound then direction of impact cause and mode of death so this is investigation regarding the victim then the clothes should be detailed scrutinized for the damage tears cuts or any fresh contamination of oil and any foreign body fragment glass paint or any other imprint mark like the tire mark or the stain of blood or etc then the vehicle should be examined for the damage cause and the resultant factor what was the result uh, resultant factor responsible for the accident 
then the damage and height from ground is measured, especially the bumper for the victims of the bumper fracture and contact of the vehicle from the height. Then any mark, blood mark, flesh, hair on the vehicle or any signs of attempt to remove the damage or clean the vehicle. Then the identification of occupants. This is very important. Identification of the driver should be done. And it is from the position, unless he's deposed or change position because of un, uh, trans, uh, transported, that is, he has not applied the seat belt, then he may roll over or change the position. Then the imprint marks of brake and accelerator pedals on the sole of the feet. This is very important mark, which help in identification of the driver. By fiber clothing, that is the blood stain, blood grouping, hair, fingerprinting matching. This is the later examination. And by location of dice injuries or impact trauma. As the dice injuries, these are the small broken glasses and the injuries on the face, then impact, who injury, contra who injury, so they will determine the driver. Then specific injury caused by the objects to the position that other than passenger do not have and any witness who has seen the accident happening. The identification of the pedestrian the injuries, we have discussed in detail what the pedestrian injuries are, then cross transfer of physical evidence that from vehicle to the person and any witness if has seen the accident. Then the front co-passenger that beside uh, driver, the head striking the wind screen or the dashboard causing laceration and bruising, fracture of the femur or the pelvis and dashboard injury to the knees and fracture dislocation of the cervical spine, that jackknife injury or whiplash injury. Then injury by flying glass. They are bird claw injury. These are the bro broken segment of the windshield, small fragments and they cause injury like the small abrasions and lacerations simulating the bird claws or the other facial injuries by direct impact or other injuries from the other protruding object of the vehicles. Then rear seat occupants will be having injuries due to striking with the sides, top and back of the front seat or its occupants. Ejection from the doors. A child sitting on the back seat may come to the front compartment between the seats and sustain injuries due to objects which are present there. Inside impact, the first movement of the occupant is towards the impact and then away from it. In head-on collision, reverse situation, there is hyperflexion and primary neck displacement. In the rollover accidents, the repeated flexion and extension, there is subluxation fracture of the cervical vertebra due to impact on the head or jackknife. Then the whiplash jerking or whiplash injury, this may happen by transmitted force upon spinal cord by direct violence on the neck. Some points which favor a suicide by road crash, usually a single occupant crash into a fixed object evidence of overspeeding, absence of brake application, impact with fixed object in dead center of the vehicle, straight road and clear weather, and usually maybe a suicide note. Firm impact of depressed accelerator on the shoe is absent because he has not applied the brakes. A destined walking or running in front of the vehicle may see the vehicle coming. 
additional suicide method that the drug, alcohol, or alcohol plus cigarette. Then a complete psychological autopsy is necessary in these cases. So legal aspect of road traffic accident, this is the Provincial Motor Vehicle Ordinance 1965, that there are sections in the laws, section four, section five, hundred and one ten, which are legal dictates. Then vehicle examiner, this is a routine for the public transport to get vehicle examined for fitness. Then environment, the traffic police also controls the traffic and the driver's medical examination is necessary. This is most important. And the medical examination, it includes the age limit. The age limit for private vehicle is 18 year and for public is 21 year. Physical ability is assessed, vision, mental ability, and any treatment drugs, then the sex has important role because it is seen that the females are the safest drivers. So drivers should be physically fit, psychologically fit, disease-free, fatigue-free, and not intoxicated. Diseases and disabilities which causes disqualification for driving license, epilepsy, lunacy, heart diseases, inability to distinguish colors, and a series of seven letters or figures in white on black background. So this is basically uh, examination of vision. The color and the vision should be color vision and the other vision should be perfect. Then degree of deafness should be assessed. Color blindness is, is a bar, night blindness, leprosy. So these are all the conditions which debar. So to fulfill, fulfill these requirements, a registered medical practitioner should do the examination of the driver. And this is the application form, age, he should not be suffering from disease, diseases. Doctor, give a certificate. Any defect of vision, any uh, disability, any night blindness, deafness. So all these deformities or examination is done. So these, this is the form which is filled by the medical officer having the identification marks. And this is the signature and designation of the medical officer plus the driver. So this is the fitness certificate which should be issued before the driving license. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.